Apple's 12-inch MacBook is a 1.1 GHz Intel Core M processor and an HD Graphics 5300 GPU, which on paper are some of the worst specs you could possibly imagine for gaming on. But is the 12-inch MacBook really all that bad? Hey, what's up everyone, CTN Technology News here, and today I'm actually going to be testing out some different games on Apple's thinnest and lightest laptop. <laughs> So call me crazy, but I've always wanted to test the gaming performance of a really ultra-thin computer, because after all, how cool would it be to take your game library with you on a computer that barely weighs anything at all? I mean, on paper, as I already said, the 12-inch MacBook sounds like it would do absolutely horribly running any different games, but I was just interested to see whether it really would crash and burn at the slightest provocation, or whether it would actually be able to handle some different games with ease. I mean, after all, the Mac App Store at the very least has a lot of games in it, so it would be really a pity if the 12-inch MacBook couldn't handle anything at all. So the first game I tried playing on the 12-inch MacBook was Zen Pinball 2, which yes, is basically just a glorified app, but that's why I thought it was a good place to start. The MacBook, after all, is no powerhouse. It's got a Geekbench score of 4,423 on the multi-core test, which is 46% slower than the dual-core 2.7GHz Core i5 chip in the early 2015 Retina MacBook Pro. But playing a game like Pinball on the 12-inch MacBook, which really doesn't take up that much CPU usage at all, really allows you to take advantage of the one big thing the MacBook actually does have, which is the display. The screen on the 12-inch MacBook is one of the very best I've ever seen, with incredibly rich colors and an excellent 170-degree viewing angles. The 2304 by 1440 resolution on the 12-inch MacBook also helps games look really vibrant, a lot more than you expect for a laptop of this size. But anyways, Pinball is obviously not the pinnacle of gaming by any means, and the next game I tested on the 12-inch MacBook was Hearthstone. Now, the advantage of Hearthstone, as opposed to like an FPS, is that even though you are using a real-time connection, lag and frame rate drops aren't such an issue, so I thought that playing Hearthstone on the 12-inch MacBook would allow me to test its benchmarks without having to just suffer through really poor gaming quality. But honestly, I was actually pleasantly surprised by how well the MacBook handled Hearthstone. When I was playing, there were really no moments of lag and no frame rate drops either. The Mac MacBook actually handled Hearthstone with relative ease. Although the game was stretched a bit to accommodate the MacBook's 12 to 10 aspect ratio, it actually looks pretty good once I was playing again, and that also there were no you know, stutters or glitches when I was playing a card, or when there was an effect that showed across the screen. For me, Hearthstone was the proof that the MacBook can actually handle some casual to moderate gaming. So Terraria was the next game I tried on the 12-inch MacBook, and I'm just going to be honest with you, I really had no expectations at all for how well the 12-inch MacBook would handle it. After all, it really doesn't have an i5 processor, it just has that 1.1GHz Core M processor that I already mentioned, obviously no discrete graphics or anything like that, so Terraria I thought would be really the limit of how well the 12-inch MacBook could perform. But with Terraria, I was actually again pleasantly surprised. Although I had to dial down the settings somewhat, the 12-inch MacBook actually performs just as well as like a MacBook Air with a Core i5 processor, and it looked even better with that gorgeous Retina display I keep talking about. As I was playing Terraria on the 12-inch MacBook, I was really just thinking about how much potential this laptop has to improve. I mean, as the price comes down in the future and as performance improves, the 12-inch MacBook is just really going to be an all-around great laptop that is really good for just moderate and casual tasks, but also works for games as well. So with that said, the last game I tried was Minecraft, and at first I was getting some performance issues, but when I closed out of all the background programs I had open, the Minecraft demo was actually running reasonably smoothly. So as bad as I initially expected the MacBook to do, given its underwhelming spec sheet and its Nova Bench score of 500, in the end, I was actually reasonably surprised by how well it actually did perform playing a lot of different games. It didn't overheat despite the fanless design, it ran games smoothly, and they looked really amazing on the MacBook's retina display. So overall, while the MacBook is obviously not a gaming laptop by any stretch of the imagination, I still just find it quite cool to think that you can play some games on a laptop that's this thin and this small and that you can take with you almost anywhere. I mean, you always think of gaming laptops as being really chunky, but what the 12-inch MacBook is really proving is that laptops that can play decent games are getting smaller and smaller all the time. I'm definitely really interested to see what the future will hold, because I think we'll be seeing more laptops like this which are really small and light, but can still handle some different games with ease. But with that said, give me your opinions on the 12-inch MacBook and how well it performs in the comments below. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and I will see you next time.